ever since I've had it, my 2001 Jag has had rattly door panels. And I've put up with them, but the frost has got hold of it. When I slammed the door the other day, it's broken another lug inside. So I'm going to take it apart and repair the lugs. And I found a miracle cure for doing this. So let's see how that's going to go. There's three screws holding the panel in place. One's behind that little protective disc, which I'll have to flick out with a pen knife. And then the other two are down underneath the door panel. And they're both Phillips head screws. So I'll just get those out. There it is. It's a bit rusted up. That's the two screws out the bottom of the door. And they are worryingly rusty. Hope it's just poor quality fasteners and not a symptom of what's inside. Now you can buy all sorts of special tools, but I've actually got this, which is a garden weeder, which cost me about two quid from the local garden centre, and uh, I can use this to pry the panels off. Okay, so I've popped the bottom one out already, and just looking inside, you can see that the mounting point is broken away there and there. So I've got my work cut out fixing this. Let's see how easy it is to pull the rest of it off. That all sounded quite violent, didn't it? Well, the panel's hanging off now, but I need to disconnect the cable for the handle to operate the um, door locks, and that looks like it just pops out. So I'll do that next. So the door card's hanging off. I'm not going to disconnect the audio. I don't actually need to take it right off the car to fix it. What I do need to do is to fix these mounting points where they've broken away. And you could do this with fiberglass, but that's a real slow job. So I'm going to try and do it with a stuff called polymorph, which is an amazing plastic that you can form and then it, when it's cold, it is hard uh, and solid and can be painted and can be filed. But I'm hoping this is just going to hold the mounting points in place. Let's see how we go with that. These two lugs are still in the door panel and they need to come out in order to be reset in their mounting points. So I'm just going to pop them out with my weeder. Really hard to do it with one hand. Oh, there we go. I'll do the other one with two hands. One of these lugs is missing and it's obviously fallen out and come out the bottom of the car and I've looked all in the bottom of here and it isn't in here. So I've actually anticipated this and went to eBay and bought a packet. They're only a few pounds and you can do um, both doors with this kit. What I'll do is I'll actually replace the scabby looking ones and put it back together. Let's see how that's going to go now. Well, three out of the four mounting points are just broken. And in this one, I can actually relocate the lug, um, which is very helpful because it tells me how it goes together. That one's a bit more smashed up. The one up the top, again, quite smashed up. But the one in the middle, that's just completely missing. So I'm going to have to uh, do a massive rebuild on that. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that one. Um, Time to get the polymorph out, I think. This is what I'm going to use to repair the mounting points. It's called polymorph. You can buy it off eBay in lots of different quantities, and it's really quite cheap. It's a plastic granule that melts in hot water and then reforms, and it reforms to, to a very solid material. And I've used this to make mounting points from a cafe racer, 
um, bits for LARPing swords, uh, repaired cabinets with it and um, basically it hardens below 65 degrees and then becomes rock hard and then you can heat it up again and it will melt back out if you need it. So it's quite an amazing stuff, it's really really hard, I mean it flexes which is good because I'll need a bit of flex but it is extraordinarily solid. So I'm going to melt some of this down and trying to use it to rebuild my mounting point. So you need a freshly boiled kettle. And having finished your tea, fill your cap, cup back up and then get a spoonful. Polymorph, just drop it in there and you'll see it starts to go clear. Stir it round. See, it looks a bit like frog spawn. And then basically it's ready to go. So that's now soft and mouldable. Probably got too much there, but it doesn't matter. Let's have a go. needs to go about there. I put it in from behind so it's got something to bond to. Put that there which is where it's supposed to go and then get it to cling to that. Force it in hard. got the consistency of chewing gum but it will go off like a hard plastic and it bonds to itself but obviously because this is this horrible plastic that you can't repair it won't stick to the plastic so you need to make something that it can hold itself to so that won't stick to that plastic right that's that one Now you can see that's starting to go white, it's starting to go hard. Um, it's still clear in the middle, needs time to actually harden off. Let's hope this all uh, goes together correctly. The water's cooled down now, so it won't melt the granules. So I reboiled the kettle and we'll put some more hot water in there. I'm going to make a great big glob to try and repair the top part. it goes clear straight away. I've got a great big glob in there. I'm not sure how this will actually work but we'll give it a go. I'll set that in there in the middle. Hopefully that'll go off hard. That'll go off hard and hold it in place. Um, this kind of high impact plastic is that stuff that nothing sticks to. So you can't glue it, you can't easily repair it. You can fiberglass it, but fiberglassing takes forever and it's probably much more difficult for, than this. I mean, I've spent half an hour doing this and that's with making the film. So I'm hoping that this will be a good, quick and permanent fix. Um, well I've had a bit of a clown up here I've actually touched this thing before it's gone off and I've now made it loose um, it's probably okay but it would have been better if it was solid this has taken about 10 minutes to get to this stage obviously the thicker the stuff is the longer it takes to go off so I'm waiting like I'm feeling this might be a 20 minute wait until this has actually gone hard 
while I'm waiting I've noticed that the lining is kind of loose I've got some double sided automotive tape and I'll just put a couple of slips in there to hold it in position just carefully pushing them back together now All done and no more rattling about excellent I'll just put the screws back in I'm gonna replace the two rusty ones they're too horrible to go back in Now the car door has a satisfying clunk and not a clunk clank as it did before.